The issues that we face today are oftentimes brand new to us. We don't get time to rehearse how we will handle them, but we look for guidance from our church. To begin with a no blocks any sense of involvement, blocks any sense of changing, blocks any sense of adventure. How do we envelop, take hold of the yes that Mary said to life, that God has said to life? And I believe we begin with a sense of faith, trusting that in all that we do, mistakes will be made, things will not always go right, but going forward is more important than going backwards. If the church were not there to propose the virtues that we hold dear, we might lose them. But also, if the church were not there to encourage us, as Jesus did, get out of the boat, launch out into the deep, to trust that the adventures that are before us will lead to life and not to death. And while we accept the differences, the challenges that are there, we do not hesitate to say yes to our God, just as our God has said yes to us. How do we say yes? We say yes by facing the issues as they really are. Issues of gender identity, issues of the roles of women, issues of how do we treat races, how do we treat ages, how do we treat all the things that are new to us or that we never really paid much attention to in the past. The advances in medicine are oftentimes due to people taking chances. The advances in our space program allow us to see things that we never saw before. Going out into the universe has changed our lives drastically. If we had begun with a no, we might never have gotten there. But there are men and women who began with a yes, and they have led us into places we never thought possible. And so as we face the issues of our day, we bring the yes of Mary, the yes of God, and the yes of our church to launch into the deep so that progress can be made, so that the world which we knew, the world which we know, can be made more livable for everybody.